Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, it's certainly a beautiful day today, but changes are on the way for tomorrow. The air is going to turn warmer and more humid, and there could be a severe threat as we go into not tomorrow afternoon so much, but tomorrow night. The greatest threat where you see that yellow area is to the west of uh, Connecticut, but uh, we can't rule out a few strong to severe storms here in Connecticut tomorrow night, especially across uh, central and western portions of the state. In addition to that, this is an excessive rainfall outlook. Notice that. Uh, Connecticut, the western part of the state into the Berkshires is in a slight area for excessive rainfall, meaning there is the potential for flash flooding. A lot of the area off to our west is uh, under a flash flood watch right now. Currently, no flash flood watch is in effect for Connecticut, but that's certainly something we have to keep an eye on. Early warning pinpoint Doppler is showing good news for now. It's dry, it's beautiful outside, and a gorgeous day with temperatures uh, falling a degree or two short of the uh, 80 degree mark. It was a little bit cooler than yesterday. And these uh, temperatures are right on target for this time of the year. It's currently 78 degrees in Hartford with a beautiful sky to some fair weather clouds in Waterbury too, where it's 74 degrees. And there's our ICAM in New Haven. Uh, the current temperature there is 78 degrees with a south southwesterly breeze. So we're in the 70s right now. Fairly uniform temperatures across the state, mid to upper 70s at the moment, and dew point temperatures are mostly in the 50s. Uh, the humidity is just a little bit higher in New Haven due to that wind off the water. But we have a nice breeze, especially at the coast where it's around 13 miles an hour in all those major coastal cities. So for now, we're in great shape. You can see we have a clear to partly cloudy sky. There is some rough weather off to our west. You can see a line of thunderstorms moving across the Great Lakes, several severe Thunderstorm watch is in effect. And as we go through uh, tonight, we're going to stay quiet. So a beautiful evening on Futurecast, 7 o'clock, looking good. Tomorrow morning, we'll have uh, sunshine. Some areas of fog are possible, but otherwise, a partly sunny day is on tap. Now, while we can't rule out a shower tomorrow afternoon, the best chance for a shower will come in at night. Now, this is when the stability is, uh, the instability is decreasing. In other words, the atmosphere is becoming more stable, but strong winds aloft could sustain some of these storms. So, yes, so uh, anywhere from late evening to around 2 o'clock in the morning, showers and thunderstorms in the state uh, producing torrential downpours. Then, as the front moves through, a lot of that will shift to the east of Connecticut by Thursday morning, but with the front not that far away, a lot of clouds are going to hang in and there will probably be some lingering showers, especially in the morning. So lows tonight will range from the upper 50s to the mid 60s and highs tomorrow in the low 80s. Breezy and uh, turning more humid too. All right, here's your seven day forecast. Well, first of all, let's look at the humidity for tomorrow. Notice that the dew points rise well into the, the 60s before the day is over. So you're going to notice that increase in humidity. All right, now here's the seven day forecast. Thursday, mostly cloudy morning showers, 78. Friday and Saturday, beautiful lows in the 50s, highs in the 70s. And then look at Sunday and Monday. Highs in the 80s. Sunday, we're keeping it dry now. A better chance for a storm on Monday and for the shoreline. A high of 80 degrees for tomorrow, then 70s for the rest of the week.